Today, I'm going to show you how they paint water refraction in a landscape painting. If you can spare a one small cup of coffee each week, you can become a long-term supporter as an enjoying art member. Just use this URL to see the great benefits that you will receive as an enjoying art member. This YouTube channel is all about how to learn to draw and paint with fun and relaxations. If this is the first time here, please like the video, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. I'm gonna just use a blue-gray colors, a very light color. I'm gonna put it over here. Here you go. Here you go. One left to right. Now I'm gonna put a little color just for the space of the house. I'm gonna move it a little bit to the middle. So I'm gonna make it look like a little bit bigger. The mountain start over here like that. You can change the shape if you want, right? You don't have to make it exactly like that. Let's start from the sky. I'm gonna take that and maybe mix a little bit green shade color as well. Like that, take this color. Mix that together. Oh, this is good. Now I'm going to start from the top, from left to the right, coming down a little bit softer. Here you go, like that. That's good. Use the water. It's very much like uh, the lower part of the sky, how it looked like. I'm going to take just a little bit blue color. Now I'm going to get a little bit coming closer and closer and get a little bit more blue and even have a little red into it and then get a little bit closer. When it gets a little bit drier, I'm going to come in to make the color transition. And the front over here, now I'm going to add just add a little bit red color to it. Now you see that the color change. And that's good. I'm going to put the color over here too. That's good. Like a little bit color over here. And keep it a little bit simple. Okay. Then I have some soft transition already. Like it like that. Now, let's start add the little blue color into it. I'm going to take this blue, mix with this little gray color. Here you go. I'm going to take a look. I don't need lots of water. Okay, let go. Okay, let's take a look. Right here. A half of the brush, like that. A little bit more blue color now. I'm going to get a little bit blue color into it. Yeah, it's a little bit too great. I'm going to, coming over here. Now, there's another one. We can also doing the liftings. I'm going to come in over here. There's color coming up and a little bit more. Yeah, here you go. Take a look at how the shape look and a little bit like that, a little bit thin line. Okay, and the line gets smaller and smaller like that. Here you go. That's good. Now at this point, I also going to add a little blue color close over here put it for now, I'm going to do a little lifting to make it a little bit softer. Okay. And that, that's good enough. And I'm going to have this a little bit softer connecting to the color of the water like that. So we are going to use a very light, light gray color. So it's not really bright, right? And so they take this a little blue, with a little red, they're probably good enough. Like just a little color here. Let's take a look for this, like right here. So you don't need to worry about it's making it too dark or too obvious. That is good. That is one. That's the farthest. You see that? What are you going to do right now? Be the best of time to clean up some transition. I'm going to start over here. Make sure the brush organized good enough. You can start doing the little lifting like that. And see that? Making sure it's all dry. 
before you do this and a little bit soft on this side now here you go like that is much better now I'm gonna come on this side I'm gonna make this a little bit softer right you see that shade uh, both and a little bit softer so I'm gonna make this a little bit softer very good like that beautiful I'm gonna organize a little bit so while we're doing this, the color in the distant mountains uh, would be already dry. Now you can come back to the distant mountain and come back to this a little bit later. Now here you go, come back with the calligraphy brush. Now I come a little bit more blue, but not really dark. Like this is good. Now I'm gonna make the second layer. Let's take a look at that, the second layer, like that, here you go. And then, that's good. I can also connect, paint this same color all the way into this mountain. Okay, that's good. Now I come back to the water again, okay. And I can see there's a little shape over here from here and walking and I'm going to create a little bit shape like that. Ooh, I like that. I did not pay attention to this before. It's just a couple shape like that. Those can create it by lifting with the flat brush. Okay, that's good. I like that. They're seeing a little translucent of the water moving like that that's good and the front over here i can make some a little bit darker and a little bit more blue and i'm going to make a little bit darker over here there you go a little bit more texture at the front That's good, a little bit softer and the top over here, like this. Okay, now we come back to the distant mountain, one layer at a time, right? A little bit more blue with this color and take a look at how dark is the color. Now take a look, here you go. I'm gonna come all the way, here you go. Like that, look at the shape of the mountain. That's good. Now, painting into the whole shape. And in front of that mountain, I'm also seeing a little bit darker shape over here with this color, like that. Continue under here as well. Now you can see the layer. Okay, that's good. We're gonna paint the mountain behind the house. Now I'm gonna take a look at the blue color and with a little red now we get this uh, blue gray colors here you go now take a look at that like this it's not too dark but dark enough to seeing is a little bit closer now I take a look over here now I'm gonna get to the top of the house I'm gonna leave the house this area a little bit uh, lighter like that, here you go. So the uh, house a little bit more clear. Here you go. Now the we have going to have the color for the tree, and a little bit later, you're gonna leave a little gap right over here. That's good. Now we come back to the distant mountain, give another layers. And for that, I'm gonna have a little red color and mix it with the blue. Now make it appear to be a little bit darker. Okay, like that, coming up. And here you go. Coming up over here. And you see how high you want it to be. And this is good. And draw slowly. 
and allow yourself have more input to it. Okay, that's good, right? I'm gonna have this color. In this mountain, also I have a little bit, a little bit shape showing that this area also closer. A little bit shape over here. Make it feel like this is the tree or something or the houses. So now we come back to apply the overall color to the house that have a little bit blue color like that. This is would be the color, just a little bit more blue. And take a look, I'm gonna paint the whole shape of the house like that. That's good. And on top of this roof, actually I'm gonna keep a couple light line right here. Right over here. And under that, I'm gonna have the This side of the wall, here you go, the whole consistent, like that. I'm going to have this color all the way carry on to the entire house. Now I'm going to put a little suggestion for the tree. You can see how easy to use this calligraphy brush so you can draw the tree and you don't have to make the tree too too clear if you want it to be feeling like a little bit uh, soft and you can use a little dry brush so it can says let go of all the wet from the brush now I'm gonna have just use the side brush just a little bit simple I control how much water that you need in a brush like that. So I think that tree is very interesting. Have a feel, those small line, look like something over there. Use the side brush, maybe too much, I'm gonna let go some of the wet. So you can see some of the uh, color for the mountain. I'm gonna add a little bit darker color at the bottom over here. That's good. And the little corner of the house also deducted. More like that. At the bottom over here, I'm gonna make this a little bit darker too. Here you go. Like that. Here you go. That's the rooftop coming this angle, like that. Here you go. Now I'm going to have this all the way coming over here. There is a little tree over here blocking it. That's fine. I'm going to have a little window on the roof like that. And I'm going to paint the rest of the space. That's good. Have a couple of chimney. Yeah, three. Only two enough. I'm gonna make two chimney over here. Now we're gonna paint the reflection. Now take a look. And we're gonna paint the bigger shape on the reflection before a smaller shape. Okay. Now I'm gonna mix the same color and take the red and the blue. Take a look at that. Should have a little bit yellow color. I'm gonna take a little yellow color from the side over here. That's good enough. Like this should be dark enough. Okay. I'm gonna take a look here. Uh, on this side, we're gonna pick this shape. Like that. And make the big portion, the big area for the shape before you make the small the details. Like that's one shape. 
right? So I'm gonna have a little bit smaller details, like a little line like that. That's what after you have the bigger sheet. That that's good. Keep a little light in between. Okay, a little smaller shape like that. Okay, that's just one shape. You can look close enough to see the shape. And I'm gonna do this shape over here. Look again, and then coming over here. Here you go. Making sure it's right underneath the dark objects in the closer distance. Okay, now I'm gonna have a little bit softer going into the middle over here. Just use the corner of this brush. 